Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Ilma and I've been posting uh, Christian blogs for quite a while now. Thanks for watching. And here's uh, what I'm going to share today. 1 Peter 2 verses 9 to 10. And here's the Word of God. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. For you once were not a people, but now you are the people of God. You had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. 1 Peter 2, 9-10. Here's my devotional. Out of darkness into his marvelous light. In this letter, Peter reminds us of our stand in the kingdom of God. He speaks of the honor that was given to the chosen people. They come from a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and God's own possession. Although the Old Testament talks about the Levitic Aaronic priesthood that were given to the tribe of Levi, the coming of Jesus and dying on the cross changed that. All who come to serve the Lord Jesus Christ becomes royalty in God's kingdom. They are considered holy and part of the priesthood who will be mid mediated by the Christ himself to his heavenly Father in heaven. In the Old Testament, they were, um, they were linked to the Father, I'm sorry, they were mediated by the priesthood of the tribe of Levi. When Jesus died, he became the direct link to the Father, and if we believe in him, he elevates us to the royal priesthood and gives us ability to be a holy nation. What an honor to be chosen by the Lord God himself. Peter explains in this letter the responsibility that we have as royal priests and holy nation. In verse 9, the position of honor and royalty comes with an obligation. We are to proclaim the excellencies of God who has called us out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Just like a king or a queen has a big responsibility to take the concerns of the nation and his or her subjects as priority, we have similar position as royalty. It means that we are not free to do our own will because we need to think of our priorities. We cannot be selfish and be concerned with personal matters and self-gratification. We are expected to be accountable to our Heavenly Father. Everything we do needs to be focused on the Kingdom. If you have watched or read biographies of kings and queens, you will probably be thinking how lonely and stuck they are in their positions because they are not free to be doing what they want. They have to take into consideration everything that they have dominion over. It is an honor to be royalty but it is also a big responsibility. As people of God, we cannot behave like those living in darkness anymore. We have now received the marvelous light of Jesus. No more excuses to live our old lives when we weren't his priests. Reflection. How can you ensure that you don't live in darkness after Jesus brought you into light? Um, Abiding in Him, what does that mean? To abide in Jesus is to constantly um, live for Him, to constantly think about uh, what He wants us to do, what, what is good for us according to His will, and to um, fulfill His will in our lives. And His will is to that He possesses that, that we, He owns us and that we are we owe everything to him. There is nothing uh, that we can. We have to let go of entitlement. We have to let go of rights, all our rights to be, to be doing what we want. We have to let go of gratifying ourselves all the time. So, as um, priest, we need to live lives of integrity, lives of honesty. Uh, lives of accountability. Without those things, we will just be like anyone else in the world who doesn't care about anything but to please themselves. So I encourage you that uh, because God has brought you out of the darkness into His marvelous light, 
stay in that light that he has given you or it will be very hard for you to pull out of darkness again once you fall into it back. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.